Hi guys, this is literally such a long time no see situation. I've missed you so so much, but I've recently started school and there has been such a heavy workload recently and I just couldn't keep up with making videos as I wanted them to be good quality and for you to enjoy them. But now I can finally film for you guys a tutorial. So I have been inspired by Susie Lola in showing these like really cute rose chokers in her videos and i think they look so so stunning so and they are a pretty easy crochet project um so this is well the one i made i think it looks so cute it's in this kind of um muted blue gray color which is so stunning and will go with so many things so the next one i'm going to be making is will be with a blue yarn so maybe potentially i can match them together and do something fun so uh, this is, I think, a size 4 yarn, but you can literally use any yarn for this. Big, small, won't matter. The rows will still look amazing. So, um, using this size 4 yarn, and of course, my favorite 4 millimeter hook, I think I use for all of my projects. Also, I think you've noticed, I got a, um, like a little crystal collection going on. So we have a rose quartz, clear quartz. And I'm not sure what this one is, but I have this like little guide. So I'll put the name of this one on the screen and yeah, I'm on to the tutorial now. So we are going to begin by taking our yarn and making a slip knot, taking our hook, putting it through, and now we are going to chain 60. So this is one. Ah, so this is one, two, three and we are going to do 57 more. We are, I've done 60 chains and now I'm going to double crochet into the fourth one. One, two, three, four, and into this fourth one. So, do a normal double crochet. Here we are, and now we are going to chain four. One, two, three, four, and we are going to double crochet into the very same loop again. So this is our double crochet and we are going to skip four and double crochet into the fourth. So um, one, two, three, four. Oh wait, one, two, three. Yeah. So one, two, three, four. Just double crochet into this one. And now repeat by doing four chains and double crocheting into the very same loop. Now you want to again skip four stitches, one, two, three, four, double crochet into the fourth, chain four and do a double crochet into the very same stitch. And we're going to do this until the very end. You should have 13 of these like things on top and you may have some stitches left and I'll show you how to do that, how to like uh, work with that if you have a little bit less or more stitches than 13. So as you can see guys, I have like this whole bit left and um, what I'm going to do is basically just cut it off here. Like so. And well, it's going to tie a like a knot by itself. And this is how we finish off the row. Chain two, one, two. And we are gonna work 10 double crochets into this hole right here. So this is one, two, and we do eight more just in this hole here. I've done 10 double crochets into this hole right here. It doesn't count this one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now we are going to find this little gap here and we're going to do a single crochet. We are going to repeat this pattern through the whole row. So we're going to work 10 double crochets into the big gap. One. A single crochet into this little hole and continue like this until the very very end you should 
your end should be a 10 double crochets after you finished your row you want to chain one and we are going to leave a long long piece of string to cut off as that is going to be one of our chains for the choker Get a yarn needle now and we are going to actually assemble the rows so pull through that little tail i mean long tail we just left and begin swirling your rows but make sure the bottom of every single petal is lined up and is all on the same kind of horizon because if it's not your uh, rows will pop and that will not, not look very nice you will get what i mean uh, when you actually assemble your rows so now to sew it together use your yarn needle with the end and just sew through like everything across on the rows so just every single part of it is sewn through personally i like doing it a couple of times just to make uh, sure my rose is secure and nothing is going to like twirl around To finish off, you want to just do what I'm doing on the screen, tying your um, string a couple of times to make sure it's secure again. We love security on this channel. So, and now this is basically the end of your rose element. In order to attach the uh, string for your choker, you want to make a slip knot and thread that through literally anywhere on the bottom of your rose. After which, we are going to chain it through make a chain and chain around 20, 25, um, depending on how long you want your necktie to be. So you want to repeat this on the other side, either with the tail you have or attaching it in the similar way we have done it before. This should be also around 20, or if you want to have this like one shorter, one longer look, you can make this around 10 centimeters, 15 centimeters. Just make sure you're able to tie a bow tie and it's not really tight here is the finished product i'm so glad with how it turned out this blue looks absolutely stunning like a royal kind of blue and this is the previous rose i've made if you've enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe comment down videos which you want to see in the future see you